Jason is a STEM certified educator, science journalist, and digital meteorologist. He joins us this morning. Good morning. How are you, Larry and Robin? Keeping safe and well? Doing yes. well. What have you got for us? Well, we are going to play with bubbles, launch leaves through the air, and uh, launch a teabag rocket. So, pretty All cool right. stuff that, you know, if you do this at home, kids, you got to have an adult around, wear the appropriate safety gear, and don't eat or drink your science experiments. Okay, so for the bouncing bubbles, yeah, you can bounce a bubble. You need a cotton glove, put it on. It's about that time, right? Get some gloves. Mm -hmm. And then, notice what I did here. I'll get a little bit closer so you can see. I took a pipette basically and cut the end off of it and this is my special bubble wand next what i'm going to do is dip it inside of some bubble solution and i'm going to blow a bubble on my glove just like that then i'm going to let the bubble drop and look at that good gravy this is so exciting my huh. deoxyribonucleic acid is vibrating in my nuclei <laughs> <laughs> It's the enthusiasm that yeah, gets that's it, what you it know, is. reels them in. There is it, it is. Look at, it's look like at a, that. How'd you do, make it sturdier? Well, basically, here's what happens. What destroys a bubble is the dirt and the oil on your hand. Ah. And when it hits your hand, it pops. So this glove is the protection for the bouncing bubble. This is so <laughs> fun. I can do this all day long, right? Look at that. <laughs> yeah. All right. Okay, we better Fabulous. Move on to the next one. What else have you got? <laughs> So I attached a leaf to my film canister. You remember what a film canister was, right? A long time right. ago, we used to take pictures, put it in the canister, take it to the film developer, blah, blah, blah. So I attached a leaf, and what I'm going to do is add some water and Alka-Seltzer to the film canister. And when I do, it's going to build up a gas. You're going to get a gassy film canister, and we're going to launch this leaf right into the ceiling here in my kitchen. Oh. We'll shake it up, shake it up just like that. I'm going to set it right there. Leaves typically fall from the yes. actual tree down this one as it builds up the gas I see it's bubbling it's fizzing that gas is building up on the inside oh no the leaf is moving it's oh. Whoa. and there's a leaf falling in my kitchen uh, <laughs> all, right. Look at that. all right what's the last yeah. one so the last one here, typically on a fall day when it gets cool in Chicagoland, you might grab one of these, a tea bag, to um, warm up just a little bit, you know, boil your tea, so on. So what I did is I dissected it. I cut it open and dumped out the tea, and I'm going to stand up my tea bag just like this, and then I'm going to catch it on fire. Oh, no. Again, this is only one that a an adult can do, so kids don't do this one at home. Make sure that there is an adult around. So here here it goes. It's going to launch into the air and lift off. Whoa. Pretty cool. Let me make sure it's out before my kitchen burns down. Okay, we're good. Wow. Which one was your favorite? Wow. Well, I that... like the fire. Yeah. <laughs> well, you, yeah. That's Larry. I like that. I wasn't expecting that leaf to explode like that. That was cool. Yeah. That was cool. So, Robin, does Larry play with fire a lot? He's, oh, he's got a lot of issues. You yeah. know, that's a separate meeting. I'll, I'll call you after the show, okay? You can set up some stuff just for him. For more, you can follow Jason Lindsay on social media or check out hookedonscience.org. Thanks, Jason. Thank you. Therapy through science. It uh -huh. works. <laughs> I'm with Amy Cutt.